So with that, I think if we huh. check our map here, we have a complete highway system that spans the entire game map. Quite proud of that. Oh, nope. We got one more to do. Alright. We're gonna head that way then. And then I think... I think that's the last leg. Alright. Well, welcome guys. This is Odd Job Entertainment. I am bringing you a video in which we are playing a game we have not seen on the channel before. And if you don't recognize this, this is Death Stranding. One of the latest product projects from Hideo Kojima and his company Kojima Games. Uh, kind of the high level bit about what this game is about is you are a delivery person in a post apocalyptic world. And this is some of the in game content. Uh, I beat the story and I'm going to try and avoid as many spoilers as I can. I'm not going to talk too much or at all about any of the story content, but I think with what I have to show you here, it's pretty okay. And this is all stuff that you kind of learn you can do pretty early on in the game, is building bridges, and that's what we are working on right now. And uh, we're heading down to South Knot City, where we have the last leg of our highway system. And this is a project I've been working on. And it takes a lot of resources. That's why this probably ends up taking more time than any of the other missions that you do. Just because of the resources that you have to gather. But at the same time, it's also an excellent showcase of one of the things that I love very most about this game, and that is the connection that you have with the other community members. So you can see I'm passing through these signs, and you can see a couple player names come up. Everybody that plays the game is contributing to the same glory. And so you get to see a lot of stuff that you don't... You, you, you didn't end up having to build. And like the first time you go through an area, it's kind of miserable because you're just like, oh man, this... This sucks. It's so hard to get through this area. <laughs> Gotta check my cargo real quick and make sure I'm not forgetting something because I should have... Yep. I gotta drop some stuff off here. Where was I? Oh yeah. So other players are building things in their single player world. And you get to see the result of that work pop up in your world. And that's really cool to me because the first time you go through an area, you have to do it without any help. And you get there, it's kind of a pain. There's always some obstacle that's a real pain to get around. And it makes it fun, it makes it challenging. And then when you do get these places hooked up to the internet, basically, uh, all of a sudden you have access to all these player structures that have been built in your area and suddenly the area itself seems so much easier and it's not that it takes the challenge away because you already went through it all the important parts but what it does do is it really drives home this sense of community you benefit from what other people have made in their worlds and then you want to contribute to the same projects that they're working on so that other people can benefit. What? And so, Good work. You know, like I said, I beat the game at this Please point. There's not really any benefit for me building these bridges at this point, except to, you know, know that, hey, uh, someone's going to use what I built and it's going to make their time a whole lot easier. Alright, there's nothing that I want to pick up here because it's not going in the direction I need to go. So I think that's one thing this game does really well. Just driving home that sense of community that you have with everyone else playing the game. You just... You want to help people make stuff. And when it's all said and done. Begin the stand. Have a pleasant journey. And I can 
tell you, the first time I came through this area, uh, I was trying to use a truck that uh, didn't have those battery packs on site. And because I didn't have any of these roads, like, what helping me save battery, I couldn't make it the whole way. Like, I ended up leaving a truck, like, just in that field there because it, the battery didn't last long. Now I can take these super long highway sections and you can see my battery in the bottom left. It barely goes down, if at all, even while I'm using the boost function. So, I mean, it makes the whole experience just so much nicer having access to these structures. And it's really cool building this stuff, knowing that other people are going to benefit from what I'm doing for them. I'm getting into this game a little late. It's been out for a while, but uh, with with the couple years now that I think it has on Steam, it's no full price. You know, generally, in my experience, the game goes past a year and it still charges full price. It's generally a pretty good indicator that's a pretty good game. Unless we're talking about it, because we're going to battle for five years. That sound you just heard is probably one of my only critiques about the game. And that one there. Every time you drive through enemy territory, it's going to play that sound. And I, I, don't, I don't know what the fix would be. Maybe giving some more variety. At the very least, making it not play every time. Maybe making it just a visual indicator instead of an audio one every time. But that sound gets very grating. Obviously, I'm playing keyboard and mouse, that's why the uh, car move movement is so jerky. Okay, got an auto to take this part for so. You definitely don't want to drive off the road. I think that's pretty obvious. Your car will take a lot of damage while from this kind of height. Such so as the uh, cargo inside your truck can uh, eventually take damage if you're not careful. Story-wise, this game is a masterpiece. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you're watching something that has a lot of plot twists, you can see the twist coming from a mile away, and it's like, oh man, I hope they don't help it yet, but they just did. Like, plot twists are oftentimes very predictable playing through this story campaign. There's a ton of twists, and at least I never saw them coming. I had no clue that they were going to go in the direction that they did. And that was a pleasant surprise every single time. If you're playing this game, you have to, have to, have to avoid spoilers at all costs. You will thank yourselves later. And because this, this game, it really does have a lot to offer. And it took me about 43 hours to complete the game from start to finish. And when you get to the end, it's like, did I really just sink 40 hours into the game? Yeah, I did. This this game is that good. You just don't even notice the time going by. Um, it also gets the award for strangest game that I ever thought I'd be uh, recommending. Uh, this game it's it's different. It's unique. It's and definitely story-wise, you're going to think that this is really bizarre towards the beginning, but I think it grounds itself after a while. But you're just left in this world where you have no idea what's going on as the observer, but everybody else seems to, at least to some extent. And so as, as you're playing the game, you're trying to figure out what's after entering the uh, BT area. An area where there's bad guys. You can see the weather changes. Weather changes are quite nice. Okay. That's my second critique. Uh, there is a setting where you can make it so that your PB doesn't do that animation every single time you can reduce the frequency. Um, I haven't wanted to do that because I feel like it does still give you some information, but I, it would be nice if they could 
just add a little bit of variety. That's all I'm asking. Which, you know, if they ever do a Death Stranding 2, I'm sure that's what they'll do. Uh, let's see, what was I saying for this? Uh, Story-wise, this game's great. It definitely starts off kind of weird. You're just left wondering what's going on. You have no idea. And as things slowly start to uncover themselves, it just gets better and better and better. Um, if you watch the video by Gamer Ranks, one of the things that they mentioned their video actually is basically in this game. One of the things they mentioned is uh, you know, a lot of people say it doesn't get good until 10 hours in. But I agree with what Gamer Ranks said when they stated that it starts off good and gets better at 10 hours. Like, this game is amazing. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. We'll probably play again, and that's pretty rare to say about the single player game. Usually you finish the campaign, it's like, okay, well, I don't see everything I want to see. Uh, there's still a lot. This game just has that much. Um, let's see. I'm trying to be a little more fairly critical about it. Uh, a little more variety in the music would be nice, you know, when you're passing through these DT areas, dangerous areas. It always does that kind of Chinese music. And, you know, it, it's good. Um, it, it would just be nice if they had a couple different tunes. Okay, that's all. Uh, one of the things this game does really well is it creates these cinematic moments where you're, you're kind of just walking around these open areas. And um, you get to uh, enjoy some of the music by the whole world. Singles to this game, and it, it'll just pull your camera back, and you're just watching your, your little character move around in this much bigger environment. It just creates this really perfect cinematic feel. You're in this larger world. Things are bigger than yourself, and you're just a small part. It just adds the kind of melancholy feel when you're playing this. Beginning scan. Scan the bridges. Delivery here. Welcome to Lake Knot City. Proceed to distribution center. Which I may have an unlock with these guys. Decontaminating soon. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. I guess another critique that this doesn't really have anything to do with uh, Kojima Productions themselves is well, oftentimes players will leave their trucks or their bikes like right in the middle of the road and since it shows up in my world you know i just don't like the road hazard sometimes hey sam good to see you especially when it's on those elevated wow. bridge sections Thank it can you, be sam. a little difficult to navigate around them and these sections here that you're seeing with the delivery I always end up clicking right through them, but man, they still feel like they can take a lot of time sometimes. Just click, 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 click. All right, now it should be good. Good work. New order. Always want to double check, see if you have an order you can take with you to the next location. So I'm going to South Knot. So there's one. Is there any others? There's another one that will pass by. Uh, that one's not really in it for me. Alright, so these ones. That works. Uh, since I've got the road sections, I don't really need any of the navigating equipment. Good to go. Hop back up in our Order space assigned. truck. Now, one detail that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about that I really appreciate is the clever use of breaking the whole wall in this game. It's little subtle things, but it makes the game feel very immersive. Uh, Aware that it's a game, and it just uses it to great comedic effect. Uh, for example, one thing that you end up doing quite a bit in this game is you make normal readers take a take a shower, and uh, you know if you go several days without showering, there's actually like animation where you look at the camera and tell you, "Hey, I need a shower." 
for moments where you just you just break the fourth wall in just subtle ways. It makes the game feel unique. It's different. One thing that isn't fantastic, probably the combat system, it's not the best. I feel like uh, sometimes the inventory management can get in its own way sometimes. Which, inventory management is a very important part of this game since it's all kind of based around this cargo that you carry. So it's, it's a shame that the combat is not better than this. At the same time, I give it like a 5 out of 10. It's not terrible. It definitely works, uh, but it's not, like, you certainly wouldn't play this game for the combat. And in the end, I don't find it very challenging. So even going through these BT areas where you know, there's a lot of things trying to get you, you never feel like the stakes are really that high because it's a pretty, it's a pretty formulaic method of doing the aesthetic is perfect, it feels scary, it captures the ambiance perfectly, but basically because the challenge is never that high, it's never really feel like I have that much. That, that's probably the biggest thing that I have. All the other stuff is kind of like just asking for more variety of music. If, if this game gets a sequel, which I hope it does, that would be the music. There's more music, there's variety. Um, retooling of the UI for combat would be good. Maybe rebalancing of some of the damage values for the weapons that you can acquire. And hey, you've got that solid franchise there. Center south of Lake Mount City. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. You'd never guess Clear. this is the distribution center south of Lake City. Until it's the, Cargo the only distribution center south of Lake Mount City. All Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. I don't know, sometimes the names are a little unimaginative. The names of some of the characters are pretty on the nose as well. But uh, I can't really talk about them without uh, giving too much away. So just know no that sometimes you. it's a bit on the nose. Wow. Certainly all the unimportant characters, you know, people that don't play a primary role, those ones are probably the worst offenders. Um, you may have seen, as we were looking at the map, there is a roboticist. Her name is Roboticist. What does she make? Robots. That's it. That's all. Cool. Got my level 3 truck. Some new colors. More materials. Definitely always want more materials. This is always good. Now I'm a master courier. Bye. And because I reached level 5 connection, you get a star. It's adorable. Nice. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Um, one thing that I uh, haven't seen as many people talk about as well, Conan O'Brien makes an appearance in this game. There's actually quite a few famous people. Conan O'Brien is one of the uh, uh, people you can end up making deliveries to. It's not part of the game cast, which I think is all for the better. Because honestly, Conan O'Brien is just as funny in this game as he is in real life, so not very. In fact, I dare say that this video is probably funnier than he is, but I guess he's got his audience. 
yeah, he makes an appearance. We can deliver stuff to him. Or not. It's not, we're not really missing out of the demo. We also got gear on the Koro. Quite a few other people. Pretty star side cast, actually. We just didn't get Keanu Reeves. I mean, he's in Cyberpunk. It would have been great to see him this too. Hey! It's usually a hand for that. You can hit five on keyboard hey! and Sam will shout out. Sometimes you can get interactions from other players' worlds. Especially if you're near instructors in the Kind of cool. Again, just makes the world feel more alive. close calls, but I've never actually tipped it over. I'm kind of assuming that you can't. Or maybe it's just something where uh, you can in another GT area. See, same animation, the same one every time. That's all I'm saying. Just, like, even just three animations that are different would just make it feel a little more unique each time you go through these areas. not too worried. Usually you'd have to, like if you're on the ground, you have to be really careful going through these kinds of areas. Um, but uh, they never seem to attack you when you're on the road. The stakes are pretty low here. Which, again, just another reason to want to contribute to other players' success. We have a pretty nice time using these roads. Here we go, here's the last section. With this one done, I will have completed every road section in my game. That's all I'm saying, man. Just, just three different animations would, would just really sell it. It'd be perfect. This needs some chiral crystals. You can feed it that. And it needs metals. Really, no ceramics? Huh. Okay, just pop a bunch of these in. And let's see, do I have any smaller increments to not waste as much? I do. It's a little better. A little excess doesn't really hurt that much. There we go, some more lights. like it. I'm trying to do kind of the live con thing. Not really used to it, as you can tell. I mean, hopefully this will get easier in the future, but uh, it's not something I'm super comfortable with. But I hope this video has been enjoyable to you. I hope you come back and watch it again. And, uh, yeah, just thanks for the support, guys. And if I had to Begin summarize and all of what I've said, Welcome this game definitely Nazi. gets the recommendation. Solid 9 out of 10. If they fix those small issues that I mentioned, this would be a perfect game. I'd, I'd have no complaints. Decontaminating soon. Uh, we're coming up on the end here. Just going to turn this mission in. 
we'll go rest in a private room and call it good. I think uh, we'll have a little uh, outro clip for you. I got Sam to do some drums. So, uh, show off some, my, my mad drumming skills vicariously through Norman Reedus playing a character in a video game. A delivery? All of it. Ah, cool. Got got to do one lock. Ah, there you go. Another unlock there. Ah, now I can use more bots. That's that's actually pretty good. I guess that's a mini spoiler. It's not that important though. You can use bots to automate like delivery Sam. sometimes. We're always happy. Gonna recycle everything in the truck. You don't lose access to this stuff when you recycle it, it just gets added to. Um, well, actually, I don't want to meet their cap, so I'm just going to. Let's see. I'm going to do this instead. I'm just going to put it in my private locker because that doesn't have a cap on storage. That'll be better. Just so I don't meet the cap on how many materials they can store here. Uh, one of my last steps before putting this game away will probably be to take all this stuff and put it in a safe house for somebody. Uh, someone did that for me. I found a safe house with just a ton of materials in it and it really helped me get going on storing or rebuilding all those roads. So just to return the favor, that's probably what I'm going to do uh, off camera because that it's not very exciting. See, I, I picked it up in all these small quantities because I didn't want to waste too many materials. But uh, this is the trade-off. You have to click through each and every one. Place a private locker. There we go. Let's see. Place these in the locker too. There you go, guys. Thanks for coming along. Hope to see you next time. This is Oddjob Entertainment, signing off.
Oh, wow.